Hi, um, I was just wondering if I can make a takeaway order. Hello. <laughs> It is B1 and B2. Thank you. How are you feeling today? Shut up. Okay, let's go. <laughs> what the f are we doing? <laughs> there are two types of people those who enjoy a long road trip and those who don't. Personally, I think that those who don't have just never really done it right. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, driving fast in all types of harsh Australian conditions, it can be dangerous. Oh my god. Oh, that's, that's a lot. If it gets heavier, I will pull it up. Yeah. It can get tedious. No one has ever moved my fucking chair. That's the worst, isn't it? I apologize for nothing. But it can also be anything you make it. Yeah, I Sorry, Canberra, but we have not had a good run. It's 5.15. 5 5.15 5 in the morning. Before the sun came up, that's when we left Canberra and we were making our way to Brisbane, 1,197 kilometers away. We'll get to why Phoebe needs to get right, out of Canberra in a moment. Get me the fuck out of this state. But first, let's set the scene here because the mileage that we intended to smash out in one day is usually done in two. So it's five now. I'm feeling like around 7, 7.30. You reckon? Oh, but it does give us two hours. Like, are we really gonna fuck around for two hours when we stop? Ah, Savannya and a bling mongla. A thousand and ninety-two kilometers to go. The reason why I like a long ass trip like this is because stuff happens and you just don't really realize it's gonna happen. Oh my God, someone's on a bike on the fucking tollway. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just like you don't love yourself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cyclists. Fucking so I was a cyclist for a while. Ah, oh, sorry, but still. I was a child. Oh, it's children. Oh, now I feel bad. Oh, it's oh, cancer town. Are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? I'm so sorry. Oh, go, no. go, go, go. Oh, no. Oh. Woo! Oh, you're doing great. You're doing great. Oh, shame. Oh, it's literally the God. one girl. Oh, fuck. I'm, I'm going to hell. A thousand kilometers to go. Woo! Oh. 999. What is that? Angel, Angel numbers. numbers. The Mercury's in Gatorade. <laughs> To play it on the safer side, we switch drivers regularly, but to be honest, it was kind of fun to drive something a little different to my usual pride and joy. I'm driving, bitches. We've done a change. But that means the seat needs to come more forward. <laughs> oh, you got flappy paddles? Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, kid. Man. All right, cool. I reckon I'm good. Okay, you good? I'm gonna go straight from driving a new car to getting on the freeway. You got insurance? Yes, I have insurance. How uh, comfortable are you feeling on a scale of 1 to 10? A little bit nervous, not yeah. gonna lie. A little bit of that. Yes. A little bit of that. You so were mix... coming up real fast on that car. Were you a little bit nervous? Yes, I was. Yeah, so this is Phoebe's car that I'm driving right now. And um, look, I'm very Ooh. comfortable behind the wheel. That's but... a big car. Listen to that. Listen to that baby purr. It's not like a, the <laughs> Mazda 2 that's like... I put my foot down there and we actually sped up. In the Mazda, we'd still be going steady. <laughs> Phoebe's had to move home quite a few times in the last 18 months as life's thrown some curveballs at her. We actually filmed a new podcast that I'll go into a little bit more detail about that. But one of the things that I love about Phoebe's is she rolls with the punches. Change of scenery every three months keeps you on your toes. Not only I think is that reasonable, I think it's practical. So practical. I have so much savings. I'm fucking loaded. Cool. <laughs> I am not. Literally every time I have some form of savings, I'm like, ha ha ha, move. <laughs> bitches. Fuck bitches, get money. Fuck money, get bitches. Something to think about. Mary had a little... Obviously right up my fucking short. I always am do I, this. Am I censoring out? Like I have to censor my your vagina. vagina. That's uh, this second is the time. Second time. Oh, <laughs> it's always whenever I do this, I always forget and just wear fucking shorts. You gotta put your vagina away when we go for a drive. <laughs> I just want everyone to see my vagina. Apparently. <laughs> Link in the description. Link in the description. <laughs> Seven hundred eighty-eight k to Brizzy. Actually. Yeah, I just saw that. <laughs> Sorry, that's my gym shoe. <laughs> smells good. Phoebe hired removalists to transport her furniture in a separate truck. I'm just on the way now, guys. I need one hour. I'll be in each station. So are you going to be there in one hour? It's going to be one theory. Well, let me just try and get someone there because, as I said, I wasn't meant to be there till 7. I'm in the middle of New South Wales. I love that I said to them, can you be there at 7.30? 
<laughs> and they're like, yeah, 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 no stress. I'm not tired. Yeah. Neither. I'm jinx. Not sure. I mean, not jinx, I'm touch. There's no wood in here for me to touch. <laughs> Does the light of a lamp shine and keep its glow until its fuel is spent? Why shouldn't your truth, justice, and self control shine until you are extinguished? Marcus Aurelius. Absolutely. Um, I would have said the same thing. Same here. Yeah. You could quote me on that too. <laughs> Fuck bitches get money. <laughs> FBGM. FBGM. Fuck bitches get, get money. Fuck bitches get married. Ooh. Why Why is that not being discussed? Let's discuss it, okay. Fuck bitches, get, get married. Get married. So you're going to fuck some random bitches and then you will inevitably get married. Technically, this does happen. Mo most likely to the bitches. I don't know. There's a, there could be a lot of bitches. But correct me if I'm wrong. That's what bitches want. What? To get married. Yes, absolutely. Can can confirm. 585 kilometers to go. Thank God. We're about halfway. Is that me? Is that Stuss? Stuss! Oh, oh. What's the up? Just don't crash. I'm really That's trying not to, and it's just like a little bit of. Okay, bye, love you. Bye, Jose. Eve's explained to me that she's gonna go sober for six months. No booze. I love to go out with Steph, but Steph and I went fucking all in. And when I mean all in, Steph and I shared a bottle of sparkling, and then we had another two bottles of sparkling there. And also, we did a shot before we left as well. Then we got to dinner, I think, a cocktail each two bottles of red and a bottle of sparkling Jesus. and then we went to a bar we were having vodka sodas and shots he has a lot of fucking shots i tell you what <laughs> there's one night out with steph and that was enough for the next six months oh my god bless steph i love you but holy fucking shit that, <laughs> night, that, night, that night took me so long to recover from crank him up crank him up hickory dickory dock the mouse ran up the clock Oh, Phoebe speaking. The removalists had arrived, so Phoebe organized for a friend to meet them. Hey, girl. Hey, they're apparently out the front of the storage unit. Hi. I've just sort of noticed your couch. What's happened? It's got some stains and tears on it. Are you um, serious? Yeah, I've taken some photos, but it's not looking good. Understandably, Phoebe was pretty upset that the removalists had wrecked her couch, so I figured the only rational way to cheer her up was to... <laughs> Our route to Brisbane took us past the world-renowned Big Banana, and because I've only ever handled my small to medium-sized banana, I had to get a picture. You got your phone? Yep. Alright, quick, quick. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> hey, Phoebes, I have an idea. Okay. <laughs> pizza? Pizza. Let's get some pizza. Fuck bananas. The nutritional content of this is nothing compared to a pizza. I haven't eaten a banana in a really long time. Honestly? Like I have them in smoothies. I don't like eat the banana. The banana is like... Like I've eaten something of that size before and like... <laughs> no, no further questions because none are necessary. Bananas don't give a fuck. You can have like 25 ingredients in like a smoothie, but then you have one banana and it will overpower the entire yeah, smoothie. Literally. Bananas don't give a fuck. Did you know bananas are the only fruit to improve your serotonin levels? How fun. <laughs> Hi, um, I was just wondering if I can make a takeaway order. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello, how are you? B1 and B2. It is B1 and B2. Uh, we ordered a pickup. Thank you. How are you feeling today? Shut up. Okay, let's go. <laughs> well, you've got to pay, mate. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you so much. Yeah. Whatever, I'll take my pizza ring there <laughs> without the attitude. Bon appetitis. Bon appetitis. Bananas for entree. Mmm. Pizza for man. Living the dream. <laughs> not bad. Yeah, not bad. I want to enlighten you. Enlighten me on bananas. Yeah. I can't wait. Because you were really excited about the serotonin fact, so. I was. Wow. <laughs> So exciting. That's right, adjust your short shorts. Shut up! Get comfortable. I need to, I'm thriving! <laughs> Fuck! In China, seductively eating a banana during a live stream is illegal. An hour and 48 minutes. Miserable as fuck. Happy as fuck. We're pretty certain we just crossed over the Queensland border. We're in Queensland. Welcome. Bitches! She's home, motherfucker! Fair Fuck prestige. bitches, get money! Get makeup! When it comes to traveling, I've always seemed to put more emphasis on the friends that I'm with than the actual location of the trip. And I think that if you don't like long road trips, good company will always make it go a lot faster. Best of luck in your new home, Phoebes. Thanks for the adventure. Here we are! Welcome home. 
what is that, 15? Been pretty much just under 15 hours. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> Peace out, everyone. Later, bitches.